Hello guys, welcome to this Microsoft Excel and MySQL video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the sum ifs, average ifs, max ifs, mean ifs of total by multiple criteria at once and we're going to use the htac function in Excel and the group by in MySQL. So let's get started. Now, this is our sample data set in Excel. Okay. Now, in order to speed things up, this data is already formatted as an Excel table. And of course, we have this table name, which is data. And secondly, this data is also in what is called create from selection named ranges. So that will expedite writing the formula in the report sheet. Now, by the way, to verify the named ranges in the name box here, just click on this drop down, and you can see all the named ranges. Now, without any further ado in Excel, let's dive in on how to perform this calculation. So I'm going to swipe to report you know, sheet. Now we can see we have all the account manager's name and the customer type. Now, because we have four segments of the customer type, so automatically we're going to have four, I mean, the same account manager's name, which is repeated four times, okay? You can see we have Abiola by consumer, Abiola by corporate, by home office, and by the small business, and then we have other names. Now, let's see how to perform the sum of total, average of total, max of total, and mean of total, at once now in order to spill the formula i'm going to use the powerful h stack function which is available in excel for m365 so let's see that so equal sign now h stack horizontally stacks array into one array so now the h stack requires an array that we want to stack now in this case i'm going to throw in the sum fx function now the sum is require the sum range now the sum range is going to be the total named range put in a comma now the criteria range is going to be the account manager many size i'm going to type in account managers named range put in a comma now the criteria one is going to be all this account manager from cell a to control shift down arrow key control backspace to jump up now from 80 to a57 now i'm going to put in a comma now we also require the criteria too which is in this case the customer type name range so i'm going to type in customer type then for the criteria too i'm going to select all this from b2 to b57 okay and that's all for now so i'm going to close this formula so i'm going to just you know click on this array copy it because i need it to perform the operation for the average of total max and mean of total so i'm going to carefully come here put in a comma control v to paste just get rid of the sum ifs and i'm going to replace with average ifs function and then i'm going to come here again at the back here put in a comma control v again i'm going to get rid of this and call it max ifs function and finally i'm going to come to this here put in a comma control v and get rid of this sum ifs and call it main if that is the minimum value based on the multiple criteria so main ifs and that's done now when i close the formula and okay this is our h stack formula now this is the moment of truth in excel here when i control enter bam that is amazing at once we'll be able to calculate the sum of total average of total max of total and mean of total that is superb that's cool okay so we can see the sum of total average of total max and mean of total for the account manager named abella david and the customer type that equals to consumer the total is 13726.6 zero now let's go to my sql and replicate the same thing now this is my my sql workbench and of course this is the data set exactly the same data set from excel all right so in the command prompt i need to log in into my my sql using my credentials before i can do anything so here i'm going to type in my sql then i'm going to type dash u and the user is going to be roof dash p click enter then i'm going to punch in my password click enter then you can see that i'm fully and successfully connected okay now let's see all the rows of records in the f sales table in the sales schema so i'm going to say select star from sales dot f sales comma semicolon rather click enter 
that's amazing. We have quite a number of records in the FCS table. If I scroll down so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now let's replicate the same thing in my SQL. Okay, just like we did in Excel. So I'm going to start by typing select. Now I need the account manager's column and the customer type. Now you have to type it accurate, okay? Then I'm going to put in a comment. Now, we want to deal with the sum of total followed by the average of total, the max of total, and the main of total. And of course, we want to format the total to two decimal places. And very importantly, we need to use aliases, okay? So let's start. I'm going to type, you know, format function, open parenthesis, sum, open parenthesis, now, total column. Now, this total is actually in lowercase but if you check the my sql workbench it is actually in what is called proper case proper case simply means the first letter is capitalized while the rest is in small letter so this is not case sensitive okay so back here close the parentheses for the sum put in a comma and we want two decimal places close the format now i want to use alias so as inside single quote i'm going to call it sum of total okay and then i can put in a comma jump to the next line now let's do the same thing for the average of total so i'm going to type in format and avg open bracket total column close the bracket comma two close the bracket for the format and alias in single quote i'm going to call it avg of total then put in a comma after the and um, the closing single quote click enter let's do the same thing for the max format max function open parenthesis the name of the column close parenthesis comma two decimal places comma close the bracket and the alias is going to be in single quotes a um, max of total okay let's make it total capped okay and then put in a comma now finally we need for the main format the main function that's the minimum function and the name of the column is total, comma two, close the bracket, and the alias is going to be inside single quote main of total. And then I can click enter. Now we need to specify where this is coming from, which of the schema and which of the table. So I'm going to say from, from sales.f sales table and then we need to very importantly use the group by clause so i'm going to say group by of course we have to group by these two columns we specify which is which are account manager and put in a comma customer type and use the order by rather not order by account manager now that's all put in the same column now the moment of truth is here when i control or click enter that is amazing we have the results now let's scroll up and compare the results in my sql with excel now you can see the abella david manager by the customer type segment the total sum of total is 13,726. now let's go to excel you can see 13,726.60. check one or two more Let's take um, Connor really bit for instance. Now, the total sales for the account manager Connor really bit by the consumer segment is 13,163.83. Now, when I go to a sale and I come here, you can see we have the same thing 13,163.83. So, we have the same thing. So, this is basically how we can calculate the sum of total, average of total max of total mean of total in excel using the h stack function and in my sql using the group by fee. hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like you can share you can comment and consider subscribing to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers